Hello all, I'm recording this video to show you how can you use an analog sensor with Arduino. So analog sensor can give us a variety of values and is very useful for creating any uh, automated system. So the example could be a gas sensor, could be uh, a pressure sensor, force sensor, a variety of different sensor or analog sensors. In analog sensors, usually we have these three pins. Again, sometimes it's called VCC. VCC means the positive, GND is negative, and they have letter up for signal, different ways of signals. So uh, any sensor for it to work, it needs electricity. So you need a VCC and a GND for a sensor. And the signal can, can be sent to any of the pins on the analog. So as, as an overview, I'd like to show you the Arduino circuits that I have here. So as you can see here uh, in Arduino, in one side you have the digital pin ranging from 0 to 13. Usually we use from 3 to 13. And then in the other side I have A0 through A5. I'm going to a little bit rotate it so you can see it. Those are called analog pins. So analog pins are from A0 to A5. Beside that I have the VCC and GND. VCC is the positive, GND is the negative. Uh, before I do anything with my circuits, I bring the electricity into the breadboard. So I take one wire connecting from VCC, again this is on the VCC, or call 5V. So I bring from 5V to positive. I bring one wire from GND to the negative. So this can assure that I have electricity on the extension cord of the breadboard right here. So these two rails, I have the electricity. Remember, this side and this side are not connected. So if you are bringing electricity here, you have to use electricity right on this side. Now, the analog sensor that I'm using is a joystick. Joystick has uh, five pins, so but I'm using only three of them. So the first one is GND, so I'm going to do a little bit. Let me remove the head of it, maybe, so you can better see it. So the first one is GND. The next one is 5V. The third one is VRX. V R Y and a switch. So again, in this case, you can go to the X, you can go to the Y, and then you can press the switch. Right. So we have, you can have three types of input to the to the Arduino. So I connected the G N D, the purple line. I connected that to the negative, right here. I connected the um, the gray line. In in my case, is five V. I connected to the positive. So the gray is the positive, and then the the signal, I send the signal to all the way to A0. Now, this is going to be the input going there. Output are two LED lights. I have a blue LED light and I have a green LED light. I connected the green LED light to number three on the digital. I connected the blue one to number four on the digital. Again, this circuit here because for every LED light, you have to use a resistor, making sure that you don't pop the LED light. And per, per rule of the breadboard, if two wires are on the same row, meaning that they are connected. So if you look into, like for instance here, I put in row 40, I brought from negative to row 40, it's come from negative to row 40, I put the resistor here, electricity go from negative to the resistor, go through this green LED light, it go back all the way to number three. And then in the next one, it's going to go to number four. So I have to kind of think about my program, what my program is going to look like. So I'm going to open the Arduino program. After I open the Arduino program, it shows me a code. It shows me void setup and void loop. Void setup is where you can create your code. And in void loop, you can say, what do you want to repeat in the code? So in this case, I'm going to have two outputs. So I'm going to say pin mode. In mode number three is an output and then I have number four as the output too. One more thing I like to define here I'm gonna say serial dot begin so I'm gonna start the serial here uh, then sorry the B should be lowercase serial begin I notice it because it didn't change color. Serial begin 9600. I'm going to use the serial number of 9600. This is going to be a display signal, uh, serial. Because I like to see where my sensor is at. 
what's the value of it now in here what I could do I could create I'm going to create an integer I'm going to call that maybe int I'm going to call that vrx that's going to be the value of the value of the sensor vrx is equal to analog read of a0 so this is going to read the signal for me then I'm going to make the decision so let me say let put uh, in this case I'm going to say uh, put the serial print in so serial dot print print line ln it should change color okay print in the vrx and then I'm going to say maybe put a delay of a 50 so every 50 millisecond it will generate one value for me. so what's the reason with for doing this before you start the program, you run the program, or you put anything for the LED light, you have to make sure that your sensor works. And for us to sensor work, we're going to see, we're going to monitor the value of it. So, we're going to run it. So, ask me to save it. Then, before I send that to the board, I have to make sure I'm going to go to Tools, and then I'm going to select the port. In my case, it's port COM5, Arduino Ono, then send it. I send the code to, to that, so I'm going to switch to the board so you can see it. So I already sent the code to it, but I want to see, I want to see where I can see the value of the sensor. In order to see the value of sensor, you go to tools, you go to serial monitor, right? Right now it's showing 502, 502, 502. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the other screen up. So let me, you can see both of them at the same time. There you go. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna move the switch. Right? You see, if I move it this way, it becomes 705. If I move it the other way, it will stay at 502. Yeah, it become lower. It go to 342. So if I go this way, it become three. It become 240. If I go this way, it becomes 700. So kind of the middle of it is 502 or 503, right? I can make the decision on that uh, on that value. So I'm going to go back to the Arduino program. In the program, I'm going to create that as a threshold. Again, you can create threshold as a variable, but you could just you can just put it on your code. So I'm going to say if the value of vrx is less than 502, then you turn on the in this case because I create the if every if should follow by a block so this is actually called a block so you open it then you close it so this is a block remember the open here is close here the open of if close here so I'm going to say if the VRX is less than 502 then you have to turn on the LED light 3 sorry I put here 3 this should be supposed to be 4 so I'm going to put the code here digital right number three goes high if number three goes high I like to keep the number four low so I'm gonna copy the same code again and then put it here and make the four low now if you write this you can after this you can have else otherwise now, otherwise you can open a bracket and then close the bracket again so I'm going to copy this code here, put it right here. Otherwise, make the 3 low, make the 4 high. It's very simple code. Uh, in my code, I have the VRX. I found the threshold is 502. If less than 502, 3 high, 4 low. Otherwise, 3 low, 4 high. So let's, let's try this code. I'm going to put this code on the board. Okay, it gives me like error for declaration. I have to see where, where is wrong. So open, close, else open, close. I have one more extra bracket here. So I'm going to delete that bracket. Hopefully I don't have any error now. Okay, I'm going to send it to, to the board. Okay, let's see what's happening right now. I'm going to switch back to the camera. What you could see, if I move this, 
to this way, the green one turns on. If I release it, the blue one. Kind of, it's the 502 is as a threshold. There you go. This is the X. This way, then this way. So, again, it is working. So, it's going to send the signal to it. You could have a lot of LED lights. You can have 10 LED lights basically based on where this thing is at, right? All I need to do in my code, instead of threshold of 500, you can have 600, 700, 800, 900, and uh, so on. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, little video for demonstration of uh, Arduino analog sensor. You can continue this by adding more pins. You can you can add like a VR a VRY here. You can add the switch here, but the switch is going to be like digital read. It's not going to be analog read. This is just a press press switch, but for uh, the VRY is going to be another uh, analog read.